All right, gamers, welcome to my season 14 Ash ADC gameplay. This game I'm going to be playing. That was a really short leash I gave. What the hell? Uh, this game we're going to be playing Ash Soraka into Samira Elise. I think Elise is somewhat an underrated support. It's going to be a pretty brutal matchup anyway with um, the amount of scary Ellen they have. And they, the amount of burst, especially that Elise carries as well in the early game. Uh, there seems to be a Samira lacking, though. There she is. She gave a little bit too long of a leash. Or more likely, she was just AFK. Anyway, let's see there. There was two different things I think that I wanted to try out on Ash, if I remember correctly. One is Triforce Ash with Infinity Edge. I can't remember what the other thing was. We'll decide later what I want to do, though. Very nice. That was really good. Punish onto Samira for extending, trying to kill Soraka. I was getting a lot of CS for all of this poke, but hopefully the damage actually pays off. We got cleansed, by the way. I didn't know whether it was going to be Elise support or Fiddlestick support, but either way, both of them carry... Some fairly powerful CC that we can cleanse. There's no reason to walk up to me here. I just win those upfront trades. I should have cleansed a lot sooner. I bet I could have cleansed a lot of the ignite damage that I didn't. Um, Samira should die here overall at least, and I um, I um, I really should have killed her at least as well, to be honest. Oh well, uh, we'll grab this. Ah, the swift stay sucks though, even though it was one for one. We missed out on the kill and we also get the by far the worst, worst wave state. That was a really gross mishandling of uh, the advantage we had there. My bad. Oh man, this rocket just got outplayed. <laughs> she got so outplayed. Please die at least? I think she does. Yeah, nice. That's something, but uh, at least in the early game is going to be using gold a lot better than Soraka will. Gonna have a tremendous CS yes deficit as well now, I think. There's a ward here, and hopefully they don't just come into lane with a pink ward. I can just start with a Scuttle Crab. Even if it's just leashing it for Kha'Zix. I'm not losing too much farm for this anyway. Well, if I lose a cannon, that would be very unlucky. Looks like we're fine, though. Oh, okay, dude, I forgot she has that fucking item. The item just always has stacks now. God, that made me panic, though. Getting a gank could be good. Eh, probably won't lead to anything now. Okay, we'll try and follow up. Samira just definitely mishandled that, I think. Should have the damage to kill her, I hope. No, you're kidding. That timing. I have to flash out now. Damn, that is unlucky. What is the cooldown on that E from Elise? I never expected that. Oh, man, that is so rough. That was our chance to get the lead back. So unreal that we just... Lose that opportunity just like that. And try and get a lease. I get stunned, but I do slower. Uh, nobody's following up, though. That's fine. <coughs> Sorry, Soraka. gonna wee now. She should hopefully die. She's probably following up or like initiating a gank. Come on. There we go. I feel like I might lose this. Run, Sorka, run. 
Do I outrange her right now? Oh, and she just screwed herself with that third shot. So I could take the kill by accident. That's all right. I am perfectly fine with not taking any risks there. Not after that uh, fucking level two fight. Would be devastating if another outplay just slipped through our hands. It's definitely risky going for this, but this fight is pretty squishy, and we're punished. Try not to run with me, Soraka. Like, if I run over here, then hopefully it allows Soraka to survive. Unfortunately, we wasted so much time with both of us running in the same direction that I think she's probably going to die anyway. Really should have only been one kill for Fiddlesticks, though. Um, what are we rushing, I guess? Ooh, there's a Fizz there. We don't really need this, though. I think we can do Storm Razor. Actually, either way, both pulled out of Crick Cloak, so that's fine. What was the other belt that I wanted to run? Let me see. Oh, no, I guess that's the only one. That's the only one I have written down. Click. Where's Samira? Oh, she's over there. Could win this fight against Elise pretty easily. Nice one. Actually, I think I will go with Kraken Slayer in the end. Probably want to get this plating so I can actually afford the uh, Recruit Bow. Oh, Kha'Zix stole it. Nice one. Should I try and help there? I think he's probably just screwed no matter what, right? The Fiddle Sticks. Don't even need to stop in Kha'Zix ult. Is my hope. Oh lord. Oh no. <laughs> How unlucky can we be? Alright, if I'm lucky for the sticks, we'll base in vision. Oh, Jace, get him. Wow. Is he gonna base there? This is promising. He's probably just gonna sit there. Lovely. Huge. Yeah, that was really weirdly played by Jace. I'm guessing he did lag. I could already base for Kraken Slayer. Man, this new jungle layout is so weird. Yeah, I just got a lot of gold for that. Like the wrong one. Fuck. I have no Q active and no W. And all of these are just incredibly unlucky. Photo sticks in the area immediately at least. Can we find them um, top side? We have a chance to shove in the wave safely here. Potentially could get kicked by Fizz though. Nope, we see Fizz as well. There we go. We have a chance to ward now. <coughs> have a ward up very soon. Uh we could camp here. They have to ward. We have our jungler around as well. Nice one. <laughs> nice. Didn't want to use ult just to secure the kill for myself. Nice run from Jace, even though he wasn't needed. Would've been sick if he was needed. Whoa, what the hell is this sheen change? What? 
Ah, oh, wait, this pulls out a double... Dagon start a double longsword now? What the hell is happening? What happened with this? 10 ability haste on Shin now, okay. Oh, and... <laughs> he added an item that literally is only ability haste. What? Is this the only thing it builds into? No, it builds into a lot of things, actually. Okay. Wow, it even builds into onions. What the hell? That's gonna be nice. No point trying to push this. Ooh, okay, we see Fiddlesticks are going into the lane. This is really good. He's going to waste so much time trying to gank me here. He thinks this is inevitably going to push, which it is. And he's going to zone me from farm, but... Uh, dude, that's not even the word that I used to see him. Come on. What? He is so desperate. I don't think I even need to ult here. No. Oh, okay, I actually do. Nice one. I think I had Samira. Just don't let her get into my auto attack range. Oh, damn it, that was a huge waste of W, my bad. I played that better. She misplayed that. Come on. Ah, I don't know, I got a lease. Oh, what a waste. Ah, I just really didn't hit that W. That was definitely misplayed for sure, but also very unfortunate the way I played out. Okay, nice. At least all the work we put in wasn't put to waste. <clears throat> Oop. Thank God. <laughs> nice one, Akali. Whoa, wait, I love this Triforce build path now. This is so much better, actually, having two different items that... Build into AD. This is so useful for ADCs. Like an Ezreal, <laughs> building Trophos and Ezreal was always so bad. Having to build the uh, Kindle Gem. Like literally, all that gunpoint. Being told to kill, uh, build Kindle Gem or you lose your life, you know? That's what it felt like. Nobody builds Kindle Gem voluntarily on an ADC. Ideally, we wouldn't fight here. I've got a lot of gold spent. They are also massively good here. Okay, that at least just run it down. It could be a Fizz ult out of nowhere, by the way. Okay, we can probably fight though. Fizz is no way now. Ooh, that's not who I wanted to hit. That's her killed at least, but... Okay. Still 600 gold off of Trophos. I'll probably actually want the base, even though I'm really close. Machine change doesn't sound amazing for Ezra, though. Any delay to finishing Trophus is kind of inconvenient for him. Uh, to finishing Sheen, sorry. Uh, we just keep pushing here, right? It's only for the sticks. Don't know if I can finish the turret, but I can certainly pressure it, do some damage. Or somebody like the sticks to cut, stay here and defend, while Samira would just be wanting to solo farm. Uh, now, at this point, I am actually just so close to the trial force that I really may as well just stay. Oh, we'll get this rep. Oh, no, we won't. This is way too over aggressive, though. What the hell? Didn't even consider they might try and do that. She, I just caught her too hard. This is honestly such a good matchup for Ash. I feel like. Especially if she doesn't have an engaged support, a proper engaged support. Definitely not one with her. 1v1 is just a stomp of a matchup. Ooh, this could be bad for me though. Thank god he doesn't seem to have ult. Got up. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what? I didn't get to test anything this game. We'll follow it up with another Ash game. Alright, gamers, we are back for that other Ash game as promised, where hopefully we actually get to test the build this time. I would leave the other game out, but obviously there's some educational value in these videos. It's not just about testing builds, so I figure. Many of you will appreciate keeping that in. 
This game I'm going to be playing Ash Zareth into Samira Syndra. Samira kindly picking the same matchup as before, Ash into Samira. What is going on over there? Nice one. Keep doing some mirror here. I'm level two, she's level one. There we go. Get some free damage off there. I don't know if I 100% needed the flash, but I wasn't sure whether Cinder would have had flash or not. If she didn't, then I possibly could have just chased her down. I'm not entirely sure. Might have been necessary anyway. But definitely the no hesitation on my flashes just to make sure I got in my flash before her as if it was up. I'll use my Q. Ah, uh, I tried to anyway. Damn it, I didn't, didn't. Time. I missed the cannon for that. That sucks. Should have prioritized the cannon, really. Because the kill wasn't guaranteed where the cannon was. Ugh. First Samira, though. She's getting bullied the hell out of her. Whoa, not bad. One more W and she's dead. There is a mini wave in the way now, unfortunately. Whoa, nice one, Zara. Syndra? Should not be doing this. Ultimate moment of truth. Does she have flash? She does not. So I could have at least waited to see if I needed flash earlier. But I was working with the, infor the information I had at the time. Alright, this is good enough. We need to recall here. We don't want the trench of that end, so we shouldn't be hitting the wave at all. Because that just makes it slightly worse. The wave stay makes me lose slightly more farm for no reason. Got a tremendous hit lead already though, goddamn. Yeah, this is probably not an amazing matchup for Samira. Unlike Elise, Syndra cannot really go in with Samira. She does provide some CC for Samira, but it's pretty poor engage, I would say. Like, I want to say at least Lux, uh, as another mage support that is coming on bot lane, is quite a bit better paired with Samira, just purely because Lux actually provides so much early burst, but Syndra is so much of a... Like scaling champion where all of her power is in her ultimate, her point and click ultimate, that she provides almost nothing for Samira right now. It might become later though, uh, better later on though, once Syndra actually starts to become somewhat strong individually. Then maybe Syndra can do enough for Samira that Samira can then just clean up. Nice. Nice for Samira. This could be good. Okay. I mean, Zerath didn't have either, so we were really just looking at damage. We weren't actually looking to kill Samira there. That was not really going to be a possibility, I don't think. Ooh. Oh, nice. Some, uh, in theory, Syndra could have blocked that, but it would have been hard. I don't know why I'm running Presence of Mind, by the way. I usually run Triumph and Ash. Every time I get a kill, I'm like so expecting the Triumph HP, and instead of just get mana, I'm like, huh? Oh, hello, that's an Ivern. Okay, Samira just wasted her only self peel. She is playing absolutely terribly, even aside from her champion choice. <laughs> My word. Oh, come on. Was there any reason to kill still that? Oh, well. Whoa, and here comes Samira. Uh, playing terribly again, by the way. Like, what? Even if I just face tank everything, I just beat her here. She was never going to be able to kill Zerath when I'm protecting him. My lord. No, I'm leaving. I need to spend my gold, bro. Dude, I have six kills in six minutes. I'm gonna get boots at 7.30. Damn. Oh, oh, you know what? I should have 
tried static shift because I actually want to test static shift on this patch. They did they buff the wave clear on the minions or did they nerf it? I'm not even entirely sure. Probably a nerf throughout most of the game, but a buff late game. I swear there was a ward placed. Where was it? Well, I might, I might have been wrong. <laughs> I won't ping the entire map. They might annoy my teammates. <laughs> Yeah, Static Shift should be perfectly fine with this build as well, I could have tested that. So we're just gonna keep pushing here, like, usually we would just want to, like... Either freeze or slow push if we wanted to zone Samir from CS and push her that way. But because we have Xerath, who is so good at poking under turret, and even as Ash, my poke under turret is decent with these that we pokes as well. We gain so much, we have so much more pressure just by showing them under turret all the time. Whereas if we had an engage support, an engage support can't really do too much under turret, so we would be kind of trolling him by constantly shoving the enemies under turret. But Xerath loves that shit. You can so much more easily poke under turret while Samir is desperately trying to. Get some lost hits than if she's just being zoned all the time. We can definitely pick up a bigger lead this way, especially when we are absolutely dominating them and there's no chance of anything really going wrong here. Touch wood. I don't know if she has W or not. Ah, she did. Oh well. Yeah, to be fair, why would she have used it? She, it's um, Xerath. Two of his abilities don't even need blocked. Or it can't be blocked, rather. Oh well. So you see, even though we don't get any kills here, we just stomp, uh, we push them out of the lane and then we get to exert all of this damage onto the turret as well. So much more effective than if we were just slow pushing. I probably should be using more ease though to keep a better track of Ivern, but we have such a lead that honestly we would just 2v3 anyway. Buddy, leave me my farm. I need to look up how the support item actually works now at some point. I don't think it really matters too much whether I do a longsword or a dagger, honestly. I actually think in a champion that would synergize this pretty well with both. Maybe attack speed is a little bit better. That is a lovely set. You should have really gone for me. A pop ghost. Make sure we can chase him. D you're kidding me. Okay, he dies. Technically, I could have done that more cleanly with a W flash over a flash W. I'm pretty sure that works, but there's really any need to do it on Ash. Could be wrong though, it would be really, it w I would look really stupid if I actually got that wrong. Okay, I'm pretty sure honestly Seth is just gonna run immediately back bot. Right? Am I wrong about that? I could be. There's Syndra. Help. Yeah, the potential gain for Seth if he just runs bot and manages to shut us down when we're low. Compared to just returning mid after one failed gank. It's too high. If I was in Seth's position, I would just immediately run back bot even though I just failed a gank there. It looks like he's AFK though, because he if he was ganking bot, he would be here by now. But he's also not mid either. So that's unfortunate if that's yet another game where we do not get to test new builds. Uh Yeah, let's do this. Actually, I should be prioritizing Phage though. 
from this. No, wait, actually, no, but both of these get movement speed, don't they? Oh, they remove the movement speed from this. Okay, then I should be prioritizing Phage. Because the 20 movement speed for two seconds is really good on Ash. Really good chasing potential. That is so weird then, though, because uh, Phantom Dancer no longer builds out of Zeal, so it doesn't give any movement speed in these components at all. But the item itself does give a shitload of movement speed. You'd think they would, have, they would have one of the components give movement speed as well. <gasps> Oof, I was worried that minion was going to kill that somehow. Nice one. This time I hopefully get the scuttle crab for myself. And I want to check the raptors for on behalf of Kindred. They're actually up. Oh, I could have ulted my butt. Yeah, I could have probably saved them. Oh well. Nah, I can't really walk forwards here. Their wall could flank me and together they might actually kill me at this point. Syndra having ult. Both of them having ult. Don't yet have trough for us, I'm not too tanky. Page would also make me quite tanky as well, which is nice. Oop, I stopped paying attention. Where it has to focus me. I mean, that's not enough. That's from Zerath. I've already got trial for us. I'll just base. Lux can have this wave. Yep, the set went AFK, by the way. That is sad. I am soon expecting a surrender. Holy crap, can I just got two marks back to back? I can go for the red buff, I guess. Alright, so now that we're at the trap force point, we're gonna be trying out the finish edge just to try it out. But honestly, I would imagine that even if you are wanting to go Infinity Edge, Third Atom is not actually where you would want to do it. You would probably just want to go for another cheap power spike, or rather a cheap power spike in the form of either Phantom Dancer or Runance. Probably, preferably Phantom Dancer, because it synergizes so well with Ash for the chasing power. And then once you actually have a bunch of crit from that, that's when you could go Infinity Edge. Because after all, Infinity Edge is a multiplier and I currently only have one crit item. But obviously, since the purpose of this video is to test Infinity Edge, I will be rushing Infinity Edge through that. If I can reach that far. Go for the Drake. We could also do with picking up that Rift Herald soon. Oh man, nice. Firing ult. Oh, what a brutal combo. <laughs> that is dirty. Lux had ult up as well. Whoa. What the hell? Didn't even see him. Regardless of uh, 
the build path. I'm sure at some point in your final build path as Ash these days, Infinity Edge should be optimal with the Trophos build. Ooh. Do I need the Ghost? Maybe. I will Ghost now. Alessandra committed that flash ult onto me. I'll get rid of Daisy. Should make it easier for us to win the fight off there. There we go. Nice one. Yep, there's the surrender. Ugh. Here we go again. Kogma here if he's in this brush. Oh, never mind. Lisa walking over. See Hui there. Let's try it. Ah, he's not in there. Damn. What is this guy doing though? Our jungler starting topside. It's not too easy to interfere with them while they do blue anymore. It's gonna hit him with a W. Okay, just missed the Q. <laughs> we actually modelled the latest clear there. <laughs> nice. I guess this ward actually protects me from a level 2 Lee gank. We can actually make Cogmas XP there. Nice. I think he missed one XP already. Shouldn't necessarily get away with trading him with like that and he just doesn't trade back, but nice. Ah, oh, forgot to switch back to Triumph. Okay, so Leah's probably coming in for a gank. The ward actually revealed that. I it's fine if I get hit by Q there, honestly. He's too low. Try and kill him. Got him. Should hopefully be able to get caught too. Okay, Rosara does. Taking a small risk here, thanking this Kog'Maw W. But it gets way killed. <laughs> Sadly, only one kill for me from this, but I'll take it. Oof, damn. Could have done without missing the cannon. Oh well. This is not very conductive towards a long and healthy game where I get to test out mini items. I wonder what made Lee decide to gank there. We weren't really low or anything. It was just the fact that they made fault lane easier to gank that I thought it would be worth it just because it's uh, usually so easy to gank now. Comps need to with that. Uh, we can walk forwards though. He's already lost a bunch of HP. Got him. Need to try and get away from the cog passive this time. I don't think I can afford to tank it. There we go. Sadly, more kills for Zara. I got one kill though. That's nice. I think she could have left away though. Oof. Lost attack speed, damn it.
Let's get the one planning in base, I guess. Or I could try and greed for another wave here. I'm going to use my E to try and get some vision of police in. Because this isn't taking a wave, I think we do probably shove this in time. But I can afford to stick around for this wave. Oh, you know what? I actually really like the support item changes where everybody has the relic effect. Because now it means that if my support accidentally takes CS, I actually do get the CS anyway. Super nice. What's this Malphite doing? Pretty bad in terms of farm. I wonder because it might affect my build path, how I have to build, if he actually does get pretty strong. We'll test out Infinite Edge for that either way, probably. But in theory, it could make the optimal for Adam to be Lord Dominix instead of Infinite Edge. In theory. Whoa, what is that? Like, the speed of that with the range of it? Like, what? But it's also, it's actually kind of crazy, like, how distinct the Huey playstyles are. Like, there are so many abilities that I don't even see any Huey player use ever, which other Huey players just randomly do. So it's like, when you're facing Huey, you, don't have, you have no fucking idea what Huey you're facing. Because they can just choose to use entirely different abilities from the abilities a different Huey chooses to use. Isn't that crazy? Like, no wonder his one red is low if people just don't even use his full kit. Ow. Yeah, that seems pretty powerful. And yet I never see anybody do that. Maybe it's just because I don't play waste, uh, face waste support as much. This guy really needs to base. That harass is just absolutely insane. Are we gonna come on to? I was the in high said I didn't actually need the ghost, but I didn't expect him to just sit there and auto me. All right, we'll shove one with. And get one plating. And now we piece out of here. I'm just gonna use a random E, see if we can just randomly find Zoe or Lisa. No sign of Zoe though. So we're probably not being ganked. Dude, that's... That's two games in a row of just having absurdly high kills super early on. Look at this. I got boots at 645, man. Insane. Seven co participation at the seven minute mark. We need a gank? What? Zaren, what world are we struggling so much we need a gank? What is she on? Oh, it's way there. Oh, he is. Let's go Kog'Maw then. I feel bad for him, but... Don't want to ult unless Kog'Maw flashes because we know it's just going to be absolutely free. This guy is not going to be free though, so we just ult him. <laughs> nice. Ideally, I ult him before he gets into the brush so that I don't lose vision while he's stunned, so I don't lose DPS. That's why we ult sooner rather than later. No, 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 of course, I said we would go Fage, so we will go Fage. Just makes the most sense. There we go. It's nice to have good old Fage back. I never used to notice the passive of the old Fage, the, you know, the most recent Fage we had before this one. I was always used to either the one that slowed or the one that gave move speed. Both of those felt good. Feel good. Does 
a good cheese from Zara, by the way. I might have actually given it away. By accident. Or at the very least, even if he doesn't know that she's there, either way, he might not approach until... Like, if so long as I'm in a position to pressure him. So I'm actually just going to stand as far back as I can, see if a base cog went to coming to Lost Head. He's not even using his arm on this. Yeah, so he's just, I don't know, based or something. Or playing ridiculously safe. You might have guessed that Zara's in the brush. There he is. He did base. If it's ridiculous, he would give up a cannon. Oh. On the way. Nice one. Let's try and get Kog'Maw now. Ideally, a base on 1750 should be doable. Actually... Uh, no, yeah. I suppose I prefer Sheen to Hearthbound. Not entirely sure. 20 AD, 25% attack speed. This is a lot of stats, though. I think actually Sheen would be better if I could have actually afforded it. Uh, afforded it. Sorry, did I say Sheen? I'm in Tarthbound. Nice. If I dodge the E, then there's no chance I die. And she's now screwed. Lovely. Would have been pretty much wasting my time if we didn't manage to cheese Zoe there. I was hoping something like this might happen. Oh, is Kong actually freezing? Oh no, in that case then I would have been fine even if she didn't die randomly die like that. Because we could keep pressuring the turret and I would have no reason to return to bot lane. Oh, hello. Pop ghost. Can't finish him sadly. Kind of a close one. Uh, I really should get out of here. Do they have any globals? There's the, the Hui semi-global thing. That's not even his ult because that's balanced. There's... Cogmolts, but he's bot lane. It's basically just the Hui thing to watch out for. But... Yeah, just play it ultra safe and just base. I can't afford further Hothbound Dex, though. I'm just gonna finish this turret. The bowling fight is already over, I know, obviously. I'll just use E to get some information on who's coming here. Is it just Lee Sin? And he's probably dead. I can tell from the way he's been playing that he would just go for that. Uh, I don't think I can finish him though, can I? Maybe I can. Nice one. That was close. In terms of... <laughs> obviously not in terms of uh, the 1v1, but in terms of almost not getting the kill. Oh, I need to flush them off at all if he has it. Zoe is fine. I guess he didn't have ult. Otherwise, he absolutely would have tried something to get my shot down there. Alright, I'll try first now. I want to base ace up.
Is this gonna be it? Is this the game we get to test out the Infinity Edge? Maybe. I mean, Zoe's doing decent. Malphite is... Eh. Everybody else is doing absolutely god awful though, so... Probably all three of these would surrender, I imagine. I don't think Zoe would, so it's up to whether Malphite would want to FF or not. He's losing lane, but not actually feeding or anything, so... Wait, the Roy builds out of pickaxe now? Oh. Huh. Why? It's okay though, I guess. This guy's so screwed. Probably shouldn't be wasting Q like this. Listen is the person I mainly need to watch out for here, I think, so he doesn't insect me ideally. Should ghost actually. Okay, I'm fine. Did the red buff just bring me out of the sleep? I might have. I shouldn't have taken that, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, Warwick. Didn't account for the Kraken Slur burst. She has no E now. We'll have to flush that. What is Zara doing there? She got my flash. She's gonna try and go for it. She has no other move. I really should be using Triumph though. Ash is not that mana intensive. Keep forgetting to switch that. Honestly, I'm taking such a big unnecessary risk here by farming. I feel like it almost certainly shouldn't be punished for it, but it's the almost that scares me. And I have a thousand gold shutdown, so if, it, if I do make a mistake there in judgment, and I actually do get killed, pretty big mistake to make. But we start shoving it, we finish shoving it. We make a mistake, we commit to the mistake. That's the infinite edge. His cost was reduced by 100 as well. We did lose 5% crit though. Wait, crit uh, damage. Please, I, I'm so close, man. I'm so close. I just want to finally witness that sweet, sweet Char Force Infinity Edge damage. Oof, almost got hit by that. Ah, damn. Alright, I can base now. But I may as well finish doing this. Nice one, and now I'm out of here. Please, 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 please do not FF. Please just let me do one team fight with this. Malphite still hasn't died. What is going on top lane? I know I got 257 AD. Like I said, I don't think this is the ideal blood path. If I was try harding this game, I would just do Phantom Knights or third, but I think Infinity Edge, fourth item or a final item would be a great follow up. The best option available, I think, probably, which wasn't available on previous patches. Uh, not much to do here except wait for them to crash this in or push it further forward so I'm not as. In as much risk. God, they really want me. For obvious reasons. Maybe I can get a red buff. <laughs> I'll save my Q in case I want it to kill Leeson. 
Nice. Make sure I get the red. Alright, that guy is trolling now. I wasn't even paying attention to my damage increase there, by the way. Wow, he still reaches me with that. There's Malphite here. He's probably gonna have ult. Honestly, half HP probably kills me before anybody else can save me. Or kill him. What is this? New item. I didn't actually read the changes to thank items. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. First death, just like that. I feel like I'm getting very lucky with these Zoe bubbles this game. Some of these I'm like, eh, this could hit me, and then it just doesn't. What the hell? <laughs> Standard Sky, what is that? Oh, that one, I wrote about that one. Oof, okay. It's not the cleanest aimed ultimate anyway, but I think it probably would have still hit if she didn't flash. Oh man, I would definitely be doing a lot more damage to him with Lord Dominix. Anyway, I don't want to tank Undercure for too long with his ultimate. I know I would survive if I was like full HP just because I'm so tanky with Crawl Force, but let's not push it. Yep, honestly, this da this Infinity Edge damage actually this early on is not actually even that high. Like I said, 100% I would just go for Phantom Dancer. I think it would be a similar DPS output. To Relative to the cost, at least, while also giving you a lot of movement speed and a lot more, uh, like smoothness of kiting, of chasing, just by having more moves. Uh, sorry, more attack speed, which locks you down less per auto. Makes chasing and kiting a lot easier. So, yeah, like I said, we would have done Phantom Dancer first, and then we could do Infinite Edge. I'm thinking went too much damage there, my bad. But even half the MHP bar was low from the start. Can't tell now. I'll just get the streak, I guess. Oh, that's half HP. Okay. Definitely makes sense that I couldn't really afford to tank that turret then. Oh wow, this Kraken Slayer does insane damage to the Drake. Nice. Uh, just for the sake of actually killing the small fight. We will go for the Lord Dominix, although at this point I would say probably the most effective choice for the situation is just Phantom Dancer, just because of how much more effective it would be against every other champion. And Malphite clearly not being a problem with how fat I am, but he actually does a really good farm though. Holy crap, maybe I actually do need to do it. I mean, it's less, it's less that Malphite is not a problem so much as his team is so fucking useless that there's no chance he's ever going to be a problem be <laughs> just for that reason. He's the only person on this team that's dramatically behind. It is to lie. It is to but he's also not fat enough to carry, hence why he's not a problem. Even though he's not weak. No way, he just randomly walked up the farm as soon as I did that. Alright, he's dead. Nice one. That was such unfortunate timing though.
<laughs> Spin a block. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on Ash and this patch, and I'll see you guys in the next video.